everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Societal Narcissism. No contribution with this video. These borderline mother videos seem to be uh, stirring up a hornet's nest. Um, a lot of getting some interest in them, though. The views aren't there. It seems like the people who are watching, it's, uh, it's relating to them. Came across another one. This looks like an eight-year-old boy who's been put on estrogen, which is non-reversible. This one's a short one. Oh, they're all pretty short. But once again, here's mom. So you, you see what you're dealing with right off the bat. Estrogen treatment is irreversible and would make Josie sterile. But Josie and her mother never doubted it was the right thing until an unexpected conversation happened. It's a child. He's a child. What do you mean he never expected? He shouldn't expect it. He's a child. One minute he wants to be a fucking dinosaur. The next minute he wants to be a fireman. The next minute he wants to be who knows what. It's a child making medical decisions. You expect him to be able to make a competent medical decision about testosterone and estrogen and hormones and life-altering decisions at six, seven, eight years old. Never thought, of them, never thought different. Where's the father? Again, in all of these videos, what, what is absent from all of them? The father. The only time you heard one mentioned was the first one I mentioned where the scur the borderline mothers discourage society. She was comparing her daughter going to a male being hotter than your father. These people are sick, sociopathic degenerates. It's never been better for this for these borderlines. Never. Happened one afternoon. But on the inside where nobody else can see? Yeah. Are you a boy or are you? I mean, even though this child is prepubescent, when he talks, you can tell his by his, just by his mannerisms, this is a boy. A girl. Maybe I'm a boy inside and a girl outside. Maybe I'm a boy on the inside and a girl on the outside. Right there. Right there. That should just be, that's it. That's it. We're done. That's it. This is a child. And you're making, you're pushing this agenda on your own child. Really? Really? Yeah. Is that true? Only you know the answer to that. So. Only you know the answer. Is that true? I feel like a boy and a girl. I feel like a boy on the inside, a girl on, maybe I'm a girl on the outside. Is that true? Only you know the answer to that. You fucking borderline, <clears throat> you borderline cunt. Because that's what you are. You put that type of responsibility on an eight-year-old. Only you know the answer to that. So I can't be blamed. So when he finally does figure it out once and for all, it was all on you. How do you give that type of, how do you put that type of responsibility and those type of consequences on an eight-year-old? So if you wanted to grow up to be a man, yeah, would you tell me? Mm, yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no, he wouldn't. He's afraid to. Why? Because you clearly are the one who pushed this on him. And the only reason why it's obvious, the only reason she's even acting like this is because she's on camera. Wasn't expecting this. Because if he was comfortable with her to tell her, he would just tell her. But no, he's not. Why? Because this is her agenda, not his. Where's the father? If you wanted to grow up and be a man, you could. And she knows he's already he's already gone been put on irreplaceable estrogen. She sterilized him already. 
So telling him that, no, he can't. It's a lie. Maybe he hasn't been on it long enough where it's going to affect, maybe, I doubt it. Because he still does sound like a boy. He definitely has mannerisms of a boy. Even though, you know, at that age, you know, prepubescent, you know, if you put him one way or another and just have him sit there, you know, you can fool some people. Till he opens his mouth and starts talking, it's clearly a boy. I want to be... Sometimes I think I'm a boy, sort of, but I want to be a girl. Sometimes I think I'm a boy, but I, but I want to be a girl. No, no, he's telling her right there, I'm a boy, but to make you happy, I'll stay a girl. This is so manipulative. These people used to be put in institutions. They're dangerous sociopaths. Yeah. Would you love me if I'm a boy? Of course. I would love... Would, I, would you love me if I'm a boy? Why would he even have to ask that question? And he could barely look at her. But she's all he has. Father's obviously not around. She's all... He's, she's all he has. At eight. And she's putting life-altering medical decisions. Put it, only you can answer those questions. No, 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 he can't. He's eight years old. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Because she's pissed off it didn't work out with his father. Okay, so what's the worst thing she could do? Turn her, turn her son into a girl. I love you no matter what. I always have, and I always will. You it don't was buy the it. first. You see that look he gave? Watch, watch the look he, the, the eyes he shoots at. He don't buy that. It was the first time Vanessa ever heard. I always have, and I always will. It was the first time. I would love you no matter what. I always have, and I always will. It was the. See the eye. Mm -mm. Cause he don't even know who this woman is. She's acting like this in front of the camera. This isn't her normal response. I guarantee it, I promise you. I promise you, but she's all he has. Cause she probably drove the father away and God knows what. First time Vanessa ever heard Josie sound un- And this fucking reporter who keeps calling him by this name, by Josie, by a girl's name, and like trying to give any air of legitimacy to this. She should be in jail too. All of them. Certain. Let's just watch it one more time all the way through, no interruptions. Estrogen treatment is irreversible and would make Josie sterile. But Josie and her mother never doubted it was the right thing until an unexpected conversation happened one afternoon. But on the inside where nobody else can see? Yeah. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Maybe I'm a boy inside and a girl outside. Really? Yeah, is that true? Only you know the answer to that. So if you wanted to grow up to be a man, yeah. would you tell me? Mm, yeah. Hey, if you wanted to grow up and be a man, you could. I want to be... Sometimes I think I'm a boy, sort of, but I want to be a girl. Yeah. Would you love me if I'm a boy? Of course. I would love you no matter what. I always have, and I always will. It was the first time Vanessa ever heard Josie sound uncertain. If the mother, if the borderline mother actually loved you, they wouldn't have been doing this. It's as simple as that. <sighs> Sad. Sad. If the borderline mother loved you, this is the last thing they would do. 
that kid wants to be a boy because he is a boy in the worst way. The mother's surprised. The mother's only at, trust me, the mother's only acting like this because the fucking camera's there. Absolutely heinous and horrendous. So, the triggering continues, I guess, everybody. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, Please, 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 now more than ever, um, if you want to get your story in, if you want to subscribe, if you want to just make a donation to support the channel in general, to keep this channel going, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with either the Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, be sure to follow both my Rumble channels, Twitter, and Telegram as well. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Societal Narcissism. Take care, everyone.